So you know I had to give you my 411 on thrifting. If you watch my videos, you'll notice that I wear a lot of thrifted stuff. I'm really into vintage fashion. I have a vintage shop where I sell um, vintage clothing and I worked in a vintage boutique before and I just love thrifting because I just love dressing fly, finding things that other people don't have and just being able to, I guess, create my own style by wearing the things that others before me have worn. That sounds too philosophical, but yeah. So let's get started. Dress comfortably. I cannot tell you enough to dress comfortably. Do not wear heels. Do not dress all super cute. I mean, I love to dress up too, but just make sure that you have on comfortable shoes. And when I say comfortable shoes, I don't mean flats because I don't mean just flats because ballet shoes can be very uncomfortable if you know what I mean. Like, so wear either tennis shoes or just shoes that have a really good sole so you can be able to walk around and stand on your feet for sometimes hours. And also make sure that you wear a sling around your shoulder first. Make sure that you wear that because you're not going to feel like holding a purse. You're not going to feel like going like this. You're not going to feel like holding it with your hands. And you're going to be going picking through too many items to even deal with it. You don't want to keep it in your cart because people are crazy nowadays. So I would suggest that either. But just wear something that you can have on you or even just put stuff in your pockets if you can. If you are big on thrifting and you know how to thrift and you kind of expert at it, you know that going to more than one thrift store is going to make the difference in your thrift experience. Don't go to just one Goodwill. Don't go to just one thrift store period. Make a day out of it. Go to at least two. Usually when I go thrifting, I go to an area that has several thrift stores. So I could go to about three or four. I go... The first one that I go to is the one that I like the most, the one that I'm going to find the most stuff at. So go to that one first and then go down the line of thrift stores. You might go to one thrift store for their jewelry. I mean, once you start going to the thrift store, you'll know which ones to go to for what. You might go to one for their jewelry, one for their shoes, one for their clothes, one for their hats. You know, you never know. One for their prices. So just rank it in that order and make a day out of it. If you like to dress boldly like me or kind of just have a quirky sense of fashion, you need to go in the boys, boys section, little boys section that has so many freaking fly shirts, fly jackets, and more than likely you're going to be able to fit it because you're a girl. I have a long torso because I'm tall and if I can fit those shirts, I'm pretty sure that you can too. Um, go into the little girl section. They have some stuff that you could probably fit that would be really cute, really quirky. I've gotten a lot of Disney characters like Little Mermaid, Pocahontas, random stuff. Um, go in the bathing suit section. A lot of times I get bathing suits to wear as tops because they could be like a cute little backless summer top. So um, go in there if you kind of freak out about germs and stuff and all that stuff. I suggest... <laughs> I suggest that you don't because for me when I get bathing suits I probably wash them twice and then I cut out the actual crotch so that's not even an issue anymore I mean and if you want to take that ish cream do to that ish cream do the same as I do and you'll be just fine and you'll have a cute top and no one will probably guess that it's a vintage bathing suit also go to the men's department and I know a lot of people already go there but make sure you stop by there and don't just look at the shirts look at the jackets look at some of the shoes <laughs> you'll be surprised you'll be able to fit if it's the guy that has a very small foot so look at all that stuff I, I like looking at the ties because I always try and find out if they have bow ties there or hats there you know different stuff like that so look at that and You'll find some good, good buys that not everyone will have. I don't care if you're a six and it's a size 14. Try it on because with vintage um, sizes, they're off. They're completely off. Have majority of 
the sizes are just off. A size 6 will really, in reality, be a size 12 today. So just make sure you, that you try on the sizes. And if you know how to sew like me, then the whole thrift store is up for grabs for you because you're going to be able to alter anything you want. I mean, it's not... It's not about the size, it's just about how it looks and if you're able to just um, alter it to fit you and it'll even fit you even better because you'll be able to sew it to your size. See beyond the surface you guys, this is coming from someone who often recreate stuff and I have a couple of videos on recreating and I'll be continuing to upload a lot of um, the items that I recreate but make sure that you see beyond the surface and you see an ugly dress that's down to your freaking toes and it has a beautiful print you like the print but the actual dress is ugly you can do something with that you can you might can turn that into a short summer dress you might can cut the whole entire dress in half and turn it into a crop top you might can just use the dress for fabric literally cut the seams and if you're if you're good at sewing or if you're learning to sew it's good to cut the seams apart and use it for fabric for practice or even just not for practice to actually make something to make a whole entire dress with so always look beyond the surface because you will miss out on some items you will miss out on some serious items if you don't look beyond the surface and see it in a different light go energize you guys if you're going to do a thrifting day like i do Go freaking energize. Make sure you eat your Wheaties. <laughs> Make sure you drink your milk. Make sure you are fully energized. Make sure you don't go on the day that you have a headache or you're just lazy or you don't feel like doing anything. Go on the day where you feel like you have the most energy. Take those vitamins, y'all, because once you get in there, if you're not used to, be, to thrifting, you're going to get overwhelmed. You're going to feel like, okay, where do I start? And the best advice I could give someone who's never been to a thrift store and who's watching this and is about to go, if you've never been to a thrift store, go to the jewelry first. Walk in the store, you're gonna see it's gonna just be huge and you're gonna be like, this is a freaking warehouse. Where do I start? Get your buggy, go to the jewelry. It's something that you can take in more because you're just looking through the glass. It's, just easy for it. it's clear it's the most probably the cleanest place in the thrift store because it's just the most organized so look at it pick out your jewelry and then from there you might want to go to the purses that might be the next thing that you could kind of you know kind of similar to a regular store so from there you're like okay i'm getting the hang of it go to the shoes from there go to the shirt rack you know and from there just build yourself up to the point where you're conquering the whole entire store before you know it. You'll have so much fun and you'll be addicted, I'm telling you. This tip is about going to the certain places first. Going to certain places first. For me, always go to the jewelry first. Jewelry is, it's about, it's about going to places that things could get taken from easily. Jury is the lowest stop place. It's the place where someone could go and literally within five seconds see something they like and get it. You can't do that in the freaking rats of pants because you have to go through every single piece of clothing to find that one pair of pants that you hid for yourself. You know what I mean? So make sure that you go to the jury, go to the shoes, go to the purses, and go to those hats because those will be gone. If you see someone in there, this is what I do. If I see someone in there that's in my same age range, I know we're looking for the same types of things. So I'm going to make sure that I go over to that jewelry first. I'm going to go to those purses, go to those shoes, go to those hats. Then after that, I'm like, okay, I can kind of calm down because it's going to take both of us a good little minute to get through those shirts, pants, and jackets to find what we really want and that's what you should do in my opinion because it really really works and i've gotten items that i knew if i had a went first before the other person went now i wouldn't have got it go row by row piece by piece never get to 
to the point where you're going five items each, five items each. Go piece by piece because I can't count how many times that I have seen stuff from literally just going individually through each piece, coming through each piece and realizing, oh, let me get this because it was like deep in there and I had to really look. Once you've gotten all your buggy is going to be full, trust me, you're going to be picking up stuff you really don't need, you're going to try it on, then you're going to narrow it down. You'll probably come out with a couple of, like 25% of the pieces that you had in your buggy. After that, go take a second look. Take a second scroll through the whole entire store, go through the jewelry, hats, purses, clothes, everything. Make sure you go through the, the untypical places like the little boy section, all this stuff that I've covered and go through it to make sure that you didn't miss anything and trust me you have missed something because every time I go for the second look I've missed something and I've been glad that I went to go take a second look but I hope this was helpful y'all I'll be doing another one of these and I'll talk to you later have fun thrifting happy thrifting bye peace